What's going on everyone and welcome back to the Ghouls Gaming and Tech channel. We have something pretty interesting. Uh, I don't even know how I feel about this yet because it's kind of weird, kind of weird, kind of creepy. I don't know if I would, how I would react if I was walking in public and I saw someone with one of these. I'm pretty sure this thing is going to be pretty expensive if this ever comes out. I don't know how I would feel. Like I would feel like I'm like the human society is like in danger. It's a robot, like it's uh, it's like robotic arms that you can put. You, you basically become Doctor Octavius uh, from Spider Man. That's basically what this is. How smart these things are, I don't know. We're about to find out and watch this video. This is trippy right here. Like our minds go just to the depths of our imagination when, when I see these these news articles about this kind of stuff. It just kind of wears me out. Like I'm in the Twilight Zone. I don't know. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's definitely appreciated. And if you're new or returning, make sure to hit that like button. It's appreciated as well. Make sure to hit that special thanks button at the bottom if you want to contribute to the channel uh, and support the channel. It's definitely appreciated. So let's check out this video because uh, it's pretty short. It's only a minute. The future where many hands make light work. Okay. Tokyo, Japan. It's an exoskeleton. University of Tokyo researchers have built this bionic six-armed device. Oh my gosh. She only has two on right now and it's freaking me out. To turn humans into high-tech arachnids. Oh my. Wait, 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 wait. What'd you say? The main feature of these arms is not to just give people more than two arms. He has a lot more arms on him. But what? But to be able to remove and attach them. I'm confused. It's not, I, I guess he said the main goal. He didn't say that's not one of the goals, but he said that's not the main goal. But it's giving you more arms so you can remove them and attach them. How well do these things operate? Can I pick up coffee? Can I put a blanket over me? Well, you probably wouldn't wear this to sleep, but can I drive with this? Probably not. To share with other people via the sockets on the back? What? Dude. Oh, they have hands. They have hands. I didn't see it. It looked like they had claws earlier. But they have hands, for lack of a better term, so they can grip coffee. In terms of swapping, right now we only have these kinds of arms. Okay. But for example, if in the future you wish to sprout wings from your back or attach a drone by changing these attachments. So it's interchangeable. It's like a Jeep. You could buy accessories for it. This is cool. I like that. That's cool. Yo, do you have, do you have to put a chip in your brain like Dr. Octavius and it like messes with your brain? You can acquire a range of abilities. I think that could be a possibility. Okay, so obviously it's still in the production phase, development, R&D phase. So it's not practical right now. They're working on it. I mean, the design looks interesting, looks cool, I guess. But they are they they know they're far from where they want to be. Okay, that's good. Okay, this is what we need to see. He's trying to do... Oh, he's just tapping. He was just tapping. Basically, they didn't show like how to use it or whatever, but they're basically showing like, hey, this technology is, it's here, it's around the corner. Look what we can do already. The fact that you can attach that basically drone or whatever that is to your back and make those things move, I don't know if it's a chip or what. How did he make it like tap? Exchangeable multi-arm device to explore the social interaction between multiple users of the robotic limbs. Oh man, uh, I think that's pretty interesting. It's kind of creepy to know that that's already kind of in development, but it, it looks cool. I just like, that's not a thing that people need to walk around in public with. I think that it would be very weird. It will freak people out. I get it. We're very, we want to explore. We want to create. We, we have this vast imagination, but why make that out of all things? It's kind of weird, you know? And then on top of that, we're all born with two arms, most of us. If you had to put a chip in your head or something to move the other arms, how can your brain think, oh, you have more of these things now. This is how I know to move this one in particular, not the other one. Granted, our brains are very smart, 
but we're programmed to only use and operate with two i don't know that's like freaky to think about thank you guys for tuning in i appreciate it let me know what you guys think about this in the comments is this freaky to think about is this weird should they create this are they creating a monster i don't know let me know what you think down in the comments below but again thank you for tuning in and i will see you in the next one peace